Hey there, it's the Angry Arab, back at it again. You know, I wanted to give you just some, some, uh, my thoughts, you know, it's just opinions. Although, you know, I'll be labeled angry and stuff like that because of them. Anyways, I actually just wanted to touch on how it's theology and philosophy of a man or a woman that dictates their their personality, who they are, you know, who what what you'll end up getting from them. Now we live in this in this world right now. We are in a fallen state. We gotta understand the problem of man. You know why there's wars, fighting, stealing, killing, murdering, raping. We are in a fallen state. You see it more every day how, you know, right now evil just seems to be growing right now it's just you know people men's hearts are giving in to that sin nature when they're just giving into it no longer really fighting over it or fighting against it just giving in now when it comes to like your different uh, theologies the the theology or lack thereof that you put yourself in if you're an atheist, or, you know, usually atheists will end up, you know, driving towards evolutionism. So, they no longer believe in a God, you know, because usually, you know, when people believe in God, you know, they know that he's the judge. They're gonna, you know, God is gonna end up judging them for their lives. So, being the atheist uh, mentality, you take away the judge... You just say, I can live my sinful ways and not give a damn what's going to happen to me when I die. Because when I die, I'm just going in the ground six feet under. That's it. Then we have, uh, you know, other beliefs, you know. Uh, Let's say Islam. We all know, you know, I, I do talk about that. Look at what the Prophet Muhammad guides the Muslim into everlasting, uh, you know, heaven. How does the Prophet Muhammad interpret Islam? Because he's the only interpretation that counts. No one else's interpretation. Only the Prophet Muhammad's. If you don't agree with me, then you are committing an unforgivable act. Because in Islam... I'm sure every Muslim would agree that the only interpretation of Islam is the Prophet Muhammad's. Go to one of my first videos, first uh, or second video in my uh, series, and you'll see just what type of uh, surahs that the Prophet Muhammad dictates to his um, followers. You'll see that it's one of hate, murdering, raping, justifying the evil will of men and granting you heaven with it then we have other things like you know buddhism you know you could or uh what is it hinduism you could find your inner inner light become your inner god something like that it's like you 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 find your inner peace you go within to to have it grant you you know that um that spiritual nourishing that you know every human needs we all need that spiritual um, nourishment that food God gives it God definitely gives it but people don't you know really go towards you know the Christian faith because they think ah it's outdated Ah." but you know the thing is God's word is true yesterday today and tomorrow he is the same in the Old Testament, the same in the New Testament. If you understand what he's all about. I know there's a lot of a lot of atheists especially. They're very good at attacking the Old Testament. I already know a lot of their arguments. But, you know, take for example the argument. Hey, why did God flood the earth? What the heck, man? He flooded the earth because uh, they were bad? It's like, you got to understand. Fallen angels came down to earth mated with the daughters of men created Nephilim these disgusting hybrid humans 
that had no vessel to allow the Holy Spirit to go in them. God could not go to them. God, well, not, not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wasn't given until Jesus uh, rose from the dead. But what I mean is the Spirit of God was not in these Nephilim. They had the spirit of the fallen angels. The fallen angels were already in a nature of disobedience towards God. So their children, their offspring would take that same um, nature, basically. They're in a state of disobedience towards God. That's what they're born into. They were never supposed to be born. And so these fallen angels, they... they they made it with everything, with the creatures, the, you know, dogs, uh, uh, freaking uh, all sorts of animals, the hippo, the, the dinosaur, everything. By the way, God created the dinosaurs too. Uh, I believe it's in Hezekiah, I want to say, or Obadiah, where it talks about how um, God's all saying, hey, look, uh, Obadiah, uh, uh, look at that animal the in which the tail swings like a cedar tree cedar trees like 30 foot and that's just the tail you know and then most you know uh theologians will say hey you know that's talking about a hippo and the hippo has a little tiny tail come on now anyways i'm sidetracking a lot there's a lot to go through but what i'm basically drawing towards is the way a man the the, the theology behind any person the core theology theology that they stand on is what will dictate their life uh, choices you know and I gave you examples of atheism uh, Islam Buddhism Hinduism to an you know it's a quick little example but it really is I mean you you whenever you entertain a thought once you entertain that thought and you give in to it, you end up doing it. The battle starts in the mind, in your mind. You lose the battle in your mind and you're just gonna, the flesh will follow, whatever the, the case may be. And that's the sad thing. A lot of people now have given in to their flesh, their carnal, the carnal man. They, they, they've given in to the carnality and no longer think spiritually. And that drives a man to do some heinous things. And that's why you see, you know, things in the Middle East. You really now understand a lot of it now. Because our sin nature dictates that. It is man's nature. Man's nature is inherently evil. We are wicked people. Everyone deserves to go to hell. I tell you, even I, go, I, you know what? I deserve to go to hell. Me, I deserve to go to hell. I admit that freely. I am hell bound. The thing is, I don't want what I deserve. That's why I point people to, uh, to Christ. If you don't want what you deserve, you need to find Christ. Because he has forgiveness. You will find forgiveness at the cross. There is no other faith. There is no other way to God and to everlasting because he gives he gives eternal life as a gift we don't deserve it ain't no way we deserve it he gives it as a gift because of his love for us God is 100% love and 100% judge if you don't want to take part in the love then you're going to take part in the judgment and just know this every knee shall bow Every atheist knee, every Muslim knee, every Hindu knee, Hindu knee, every knee shall bow to Christ. Bow now or bow later, but your knee will bow. Your knee will bow. I guarantee it. Take care. Hopefully, this touched someone. Have a blessed day, everyone.